day and good morning. Third day in Rome, heading over to the Vatican. All right, so, All right. Vatican. Actually, up for today was the Colosseum, but we changed it up. Apparently, today was a much, much better day for going to the Vatican. Much better. Tomorrow was a Wednesday. You don't go to the Vatican on a Wednesday. It's not done. It's built for money uh, from poor people who gave money to the church to absolve their sins. Huh. This and goes to show what a lot of poor people can accomplish. I think we need to go in that direction. They don't play around, but we found it. It wasn't all that hard to find. I mean, it's a fucking humongous building, so that it took us this long was kind of surprising. Yeah. Right now we're looking for the what is essentially the back entrance of the Vatican because we, we we the art stand from the back of the Vatican through a museum and then into the Vatican would allow us to skip like a long ass line. Reservation? Yes, we do. Where do you turn up to right now? Thank you. Everybody is so friendly. Even the people trying to sell you shit all day, they're super friendly and helpful. It took us a while, we actually managed to find it. Kind of shady back alley. When in Rome, to us. If they have personal space, they feel uncomfortable. <laughs> right. Tourist seems to have uh, gotten on the way. What's your name again? Christina. Christina. Christina's here to help us along the Vatican and teach us all about it. I'm very She's excited. There, as am I. Like it was the first time. Like it was the first time. I highly doubt. You are, is that working? Yeah. We good. Okay. How does it feel to be in charge? It feels good. I feel right. Right now, I'm. Apparently in charge of getting this tour group to the... Have they seen me? They have seen me! Awesome! We do have a tour group with us. Very nice. Do we kind of have everybody? Just about? No, she's over there. She's kicking these people out. Oh, this is a coup. This four foot woman is kicking out 60 people. Christina's been really nice. She's her tour guide and explaining some of the things about Michelangelo's paintings in the 16th chap 16th chapel. Sistine. Sist Sist Sistine. It's kind of hard to record in there because it's really loud and really noisy. It's gonna be probably just pretty pictures with some music. <laughs> Now, 60, whatever, going into the chapel now, not allowed to take pictures. So, if you want to see that shit, you will have to visit yourself. Did the chapel. Mind blowing. And very impressive. The paintings are mind bogglingly Don't huge and beautiful. Way. Don't Google it, go there. But the no picture policy wasn't really upheld by a lot of people. I did. Not because I couldn't take pictures, but just out of respect, which I think everybody should do. If you take pictures in there, uh, well, in my humble opinion, or it's holy ground. Don't do it. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. I think it's not done. We still have the basilisk, basil, 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 basilisk, basilisk. The what? Basilica. I've been saying the word impressive a lot. I, I should have saved that. I think I never in my whole life have been as impressed than this. And don't take it from me, just come here, just experience this yourself. Just come here and look at it. I am right about this. This is a truly amazing building. What capella, what lacuna, quell'aria brillante. Non ti dry for. We are now walking through the holy doors. These doors are only opened once every 25 years and now we are walking through them. That door was not even opened on the day I was born. This week I'm in Rome 
I've walked through those doors. My next chance will be when I am 50 years old. <laughs> we didn't know this beforehand, actually. There's a lot of weird stuff going on here in Rome. That wraps it about up for the Vatican. If you ever have the chance to go here, don't let it pass by. Go see this for yourself. Non ti drai far felonia amoroso, notte giorno di torno tirato, delle belle te quando riposo.